So let's take a look at our red black tree class. So we're going to have a class, public class, red black tree. And our red black tree is going to implement the interface red black i. And both the interface and the red black tree are going to take keys and values. So we're going to have a kv and a kv. Okay, k for key, v for value, as we'll see. And in our red black tree class, we need two globally scoped variables. We're going to have a root node, and that, of course, is how we get access to our tree. So we're going to have a node called root, and we're going to have a size counter, which is just the number of elements in our tree. In our constructor class, we're going to initialize the root value, and we're going to initialize size to be 0. Our nodes are going to be keys and values, and we're going to have an inner class that's going to hold those. But our nodes are going to have other information. And so remember, in our tree, in our red-black tree, the way that we decide whether a tree is going to be rotated is dependent on the color of the nodes. And so each node can either be red or black. And one of our rules is that the root is always black and that new nodes are red. And so we're going to have a simple Boolean, which we're going to call is black. And so if it's true, it's black. If it's false, the node's red. The other thing is that as we're manipulating the tree, there are times when we both want to go from a parent to its child and from a child to the parent. And so we're going to have an additional pointer that's going to go from a child to its parent. And then the final additional value that we're going to store for each node is whether it's a left child or a right child. And that's just a convenience because, of course, one of the things that we need to understand when we're manipulating red-black trees is whether the, whether the aunt for the node that's causing a violation, whether that's black or red. And so we need to know if our parent is a left child then its aunt is going to be on the right-hand side. If our parent's a right child, its aunt's going to be on the left-hand side. And so having that Boolean value just provides a convenient way to understand, given two nodes, which one is the next aunt. So let's have a look at our inner class. It's going to be a class of node kv objects. And of course, we're going to store the key, and we're going to store the value, the k and the v. And then, as I mentioned, we're going to have node kv objects, and we're going to have a left child, we're going to have a right child, and we're going to have a parent node. Okay. So for any node, we have its left child, we have its right child, and we have the parent object. Of course, when we're root, the parent is null. And that's one of the things that we'll use to determine whether we're at the root node. We can also use an equals. If a node is equal to root, it's the same. But also, if the parent is null, it's a root node. And then, as I said, we're going to have two Booleans. So the first Boolean is, let's call it, is left child. And the second Boolean is black. And so if that's true, the node's black. If it's false, the node is red. And so then let's just have our constructor for a node. So public node. And we're going to take a key and a v value. 
And remember, as we talked about way back at the beginning, we don't have the generic in our constructor definition. And we're just going to set this dot key equal to key, and this dot value equal to value. Normally, you would write these on two separate lines. I'm just doing them on one line to save a bit of space here. We need to set our child nodes and our parent node. And when we initiate a node, left is equal to right is equal to parent is equal to null. Okay. One of our rules is that new nodes are red, black is equal to false. And since this node is just a node hanging out by itself, we haven't joined it to anything yet, we don't know whether it's a left child or a right child, so we'll just set is left child equal to false. It doesn't really matter, we could set it to true. It, it's not a left child, it's not a right child, it's a nothing. Poor little node. So there's our, our node class, our inner class, and the variables that we're going to use as we manipulate the tree, as we add things, remove things, and so on. 